Basic level metering is certainly the most common type of metering in audio production. While the course is assuming some degree of familiarity with the terminology and scales in use in DAW meters, just to cover all the bases, I'll do a brief review of the basics. Levels of audio waves can be broken down into two distinct components, momentary transient peaks and the more continuous sustaining portions of a sound, the average level. A transient peak is the instantaneous impact at the beginning of a percussive sound, like a drum hit or piano or guitar note. This is very short in duration, typically only about 10 to 20 milliseconds, thousandths of a second. That's the peak level of that wave. The longer portion of the note that follows either sustains or rings out and gradually dies away. That's the average level of the wave. With human hearing, the perception of how loud the audio is is based not on the level of transient peaks, but on the average level of the sound. Transient peaks are too short to register for loudness perception, but they do contribute a sense of impact or punch to the audio. Transient peaks can be as much as 10 to 20 decibels louder than average level. Remember, the decibel, or dB, is the standard measurement unit for audio level. Different dB scales are referenced to particular decibel levels. In a digital audio workstation, the reference level is the maximum clean peak level, 0 dBFS, or dB full scale. This is at the top of any standard digital level meter, and all levels are expressed as negative numbers below that, referenced to 0 dBFS. Level meters have different response characteristics, or ballistics. Some show only average level, with a response too slow to track the faster transient peaks. Others do track transients, which is good for warning of potential digital overloads, levels above 0 dBFS, but that doesn't provide a useful indication of average levels, which would give a better sense of how loud one signal will sound relative to another. In the analog world, the traditional average level meter is the VU meter, which sometimes includes a peak indicator. In that meter, zero indicates the maximum clean average level. Due to their short duration, transient peaks can safely exceed that level by up to 20 dB or more. But with digital audio, there's no difference between maximum average and maximum peak level. Audio stays clean all the way up to zero dBFS. Some digital level meters incorporate both an average reading and a peak reading. The average level is calculated based on RMS readings, which are a reasonably good, though not perfect, indicator of perceived loudness. Digital peak levels traditionally register anything that doesn't exceed 0 dBFS as clean, though modern peak meters are designed to anticipate potential artifacts of the DAC process and show slightly lower peak levels as overloads. I'll get into those so-called true peak levels a couple of videos later, in relation to the loudness meter and loudness standards. Insight 2's basic level meter combines average RMS and peak readings. I'll pick up there in the next video.